Mistress Kara reporting for duty on an absolutely beautiful day. My relationship with the military and military charities goes back a long way. I grew up in a military family, and after 9-11, I started working a lot with soldiers that were getting deployed, sending out care packages. I made a couple trips overseas and was embedded as a journalist with soldiers from Massachusetts. Hi, it's Mistress Carrie outside the city limits of Kabul in Afghanistan. It was really kind of interesting to be taken amongst their ranks, go out on missions with them, and while I was overseas, I promised them that when they came home and were kind of back on my turf, that I would take care of them the way that they took care of me overseas. When I got home, I really started getting involved with a lot of military-based charities and organizations that were not only taking care of the soldiers while they were deployed, but also making sure they had everything they needed once they came home. Hey. It's Mistress Carrie, and I'm here in Afghanistan. The first Open thing I started to do getting involved was seeking out organizations that I had heard great things about. And the home base program, as soon as I heard about the partnership between Mass General Hospital, who I have a, a very personal relationship with, and the Red Sox Foundation, I got involved right away. So the first run to home base, I was like, I want to run, I want to be part of this. I've got this brotherhood, this relationship, this trust, this bond with them, I'm fortunate enough to be able to make connections, whether that be uh, planning events just to get the guys to hang out together on the weekends and go fishing, shooting, or motorcycle riding. But when there's a real need for clinical care, I've sent many people to the home base program and I know that it's helped. The home base program does so many things right. They found a way to treat the soldier, treat the soldier's family. They found a way to do it and remove the stigma of that treatment because it's outside of the bounds of the military itself. They're also showing clinicians around the country how this treatment works and how to treat the veterans that are in their communities. They're helping clinicians nationwide and worldwide to stop this problem from getting any worse and hopefully someday it won't be a problem at all. The people that they have working, their outreach, they're veterans themselves. So it's not people that are disconnected that think they understand. These are people that have been there, they understand, and they want to help their fellow veterans. And they can make so much happen with the donations that they get. They're completely privately funded. I'm in awe at their staff. They literally are saving lives every day.